Your first performance in New York, mm -hmm. we saw that recently at SOB's incredible performance. What, what was that night like for you and how poignant, how critical was that moment for you with your career? For me being a Southern artist, I, I felt like it was a, a groundbreaking event for me. You know what I mean? The turnout was exceptional as far as it being a lot of people in the house who I felt like had a respectable in hip hop, a lot of DJs, a lot of tastemakers, um, serious bloggers who could kill careers. A lot of careers are based off um, internet presence. And so for me, I wasn't nervous at all. It was like my 150th or 60th show. It was another show for me as far as just going hard, but it was a strong barometer for my Two Chains campaign to really test and check the temperature for East Coast. New York period being the hip hop capital, the mecca where it started. You know, I'm just comfortable doing me. I don't try to be no one else. So for them to embrace me and accept me like that, I was just excited about the whole event. Especially like after, like that, you know, after it was over, just being able to like really just soak it in and get all the comments and the feedback. I'm still hearing it to this day, like what we talked about off camera. So I'm excited about that whole thing. And then, you know, New York, man, it's hard to get it. Like Apollo is in New York. They have the Sandman. They will sweep your butt off the stage.